Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the 1.0 launch of Raven's Watch. I've had this game since it dropped in early access. I've only played a few hours of it. I do like it. It does seem to be more of a co-op game because it is a brutally difficult single player, or at least it was last time I played. You can see like if you check this like magical optics tab, I haven't really unlocked much of anything really. So I'm just going to jump into it. I did when I have played, like I unlocked all of these characters. There's a new um, vampire character here I'd like to unlock. I think for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use Beowulf here because he's the one I know the best. And we'll go into it. Or you know what? No, let's not use Beowulf. Let's use Sung Wukong since Black Myth Wukong just came out. Let's try the Monkey King. Uh, let's see how the game goes. We're going to play on this easiest difficulty. I haven't even beaten the game before, so we'll see how that goes. You can also, you know, there's modifiers here. Apparently you can put on, which I guess is cool because that means if you're playing the. Uh, the Red Riding Hood slash werewolf character, you can choose to always be in either form. But uh, yeah, so yeah, let's just jump into a run, see how it goes. We are a level one Monkey King. We'll see what happens. So this is a isometric action RPG that's a little on the slower pace side and things are brutal. So what do we have attack wise? We have our basic attacks here, which is very satisfying. It moves us forward a bit, too. We have a right click, which is a dash U, which um, well, let's just see We're Oh, we're a stance character. OK, all abilities in the end stance gain 10 percent life on hit. All heroes around gain shield for six seconds In Yang stance. You deal and take. Oh, you deal and take double damage and all heroes gain strength. Cool. Uh, for this one, chain attacks. That's a basic. That's the dash. Is the dash do anything else? You strike towards enemy and strike it for 30. If other enemies are nearby, you can follow up with two other targets while being intangible. Oh, you can dash around. Launch, launch prayer beads that orbit Sun Wukong. So we have um, Holy Bible. Nice. And our defensive skill, which is on shift, which I'm not sure if I love that, but we'll see how it works. Block any attack for 0.5 seconds. That is precision blocking. If an attack is blocked, the block time is reset and empty palm has no cooldown. Wow. OK, so skill game. And then our choices here are fairly limited since we're level one. So after obtaining a mag magical object with a rare quality or better gain plus two damage. Complete grant 100 vitality, but now only hero or magical object heals are effective. That doesn't seem that bad. Each successful defense grants 0.5 armor. Each block triggers an attack dealing. If you finish it, which you have to do 40, 40 perfect blocks. Each block triggers an attack dealing 100% of the block damage as area damage. I'm going to take Thirst for Immortality because that seems easier. Uh, this is the shopkeeper. You can buy stuff from him, but we have to go get loot. So the whole premise of this game is there is a evil nightmare coming to get us. And we have to get stronger. Before he does. Like, generally speaking, I think you wanted to get your. Oh, wow, that's going to be hard. So generally speaking, I think you want to get your ultimate before the boss shows up, which I think is like level five, if I'm recalling correctly. Uh, I'm going to run to this icon on the map. I think it should show us more areas and give us XP. I do not know this folks, but they just know. That's kind of cool. Oh, I just turned on double damage mode. I don't think I want to be in double damage mode, but I think we do want to be stance dancing with this character. His basic attack is super cool. So each character in this game feels incredibly different from one another. I think that's one of its biggest strengths. And it that makes for like really cool co-op gameplay. Some characters just do better tank stuff. And thematically, things are great. Like Aladdin is in the game and he can make wishes and use like genie powers and whatnot. I will say, I think they nerfed enemies damage on this difficulty because before, if I got hit like that, I would have uh, taken a lot more damage. All right, let's level up. Oh, there's achievements now. Cool. 
While special is active, that is E, that is our prayer beads. Beads gradually increase their action radius up to 24%, hit all enemies in the area. When special is triggered, it applies a negative stats effect to enemies within range. Um, I'll take this one. I now wield the power of a thousand warriors. The power of a thousand warriors. I'm going to go back this way and go towards this chest. So the things you're doing, you're you're killing enemies for XP to level up. You're trying to get magical objects and you're trying to uh, complete events, which is going to give you more stuff and blow up these things, which is money that you can spend at the shop. Being invul invulnerable while you're dashing around seems pretty nice. And the fact that it does damage as well. That's the other thing this game has done really well, at least on the other characters I've played, is that the talents you pick up are all very effective. None of the talents feel bad in this game. They all feel like you're doing something to really improve your character and like how you want to play the character. So... You're not in a situation where, oh, this ability does 10% more damage. It might be like this ability does 10% more damage and it attacks three more times. There's different attack patterns or something like that, which, again, is fantastic. So my understanding of how this works now is because last time I like last time I legitimately played. There was only this map, which they've had at least two more maps added, although I think there might be four now. So you'll finish one map and then in between the other one oh, almost got hit there in between maps. You can like save if you want, since like each run is like 15 minutes You can save your run or you can continue and go to the next one. And you have like we have a limited number of revives here we can use. But I think I just want to keep I just want to keep mantra up, right? I want to keep mantra up and just keep dashing around. Or is it mantra? I want to keep the prayer breeds up. He just gooed all over me. I don't know how I feel about that. Wow, the the point the point five second parry is really something. Enemies also have a stagger bar. If you've been playing games recently, you're probably aware of it. Seems like a lot have picked it up. All right, e, good relic. Choose a magical object. I'm going to take the rare hour deals 20% more damage. Yeah. Because that counts for our quest, right? Because our quest was at least rares. And this is our right click. So our dash deals more. And it shows. It's kind of nice. Also, I think when you level up, you just get naturally stat bonuses. Like in a run. With 800, 187, I drink this. So it, we kind of wasted a full heal there, but at the same time, I guess we could heal with our with our ability. Also, enemies seem to drop more healing than they used. It probably, I have a feeling that's only on this like super easy. Difficulty. Right. That's the type of thing I imagine they they made the game a bit more accessible because honestly, it was brutally hard. Um, I am stuck. I did not block anything. Well, I think I blocked one and it reset, but then I didn't block the other. This is a frightening situation. There is also a dash on spacebar. I don't think I mentioned that, but that exists. I think this guy was buffing them. The scarecrow, probably. Hey, we leveled up. Attacks triggered after a dash launch a rapid series of five strikes, dealing 60% area damage. 
adds a crushing blow to the attack combo, dealing 49 damage around the point of impact. I'm going to try Stick Twirl. I'm doing a lot of that. I don't remember what this is. I'm just going to throw it in here. Oh, we get a magical object. Oh, none of these are rare. Do I have a reroll? I have three rerolls. None of these are rare. Okay, am I only getting a common out of this? I feel like I am. I'm going to waste one more reroll. Yeah, I'm only getting common. That was a waste. Spawns two consumables when picked up. I don't think we want that. Reduce dream Sandman's Dream Shard prices by 10%. Also, it seems like there's a bonus once you have 5x of anything. I'm going to take this. 10% crit chance after a dash. Because we're doing that now. We have that ability. That's pretty cool. Like, this game is just very cool. Very stylish. I do think it's optimal with the group. So if I end up making like a lot of content on it, it would group play, not uh, not solo. Oh, what's this? Oh, a new feather, a free feather. Oh, pay a hundred dollars for a revive. I mean, that's probably worth it. But at the same time, do I really want to be doing that? I don't think I do. The piggies are exploding. Are they piggies? They're, they're making an oink when they die. Get away. Yes. All right. Let's, uh, for income, 134. Oh, you have to mash. I don't. I, OK, that button probably <laughs> that probably shouldn't be on ship. At least for this character. I know like Beowulf, the character I was going to play originally, he, um, oh, I can't. Oh, no. He holds his block. So it's not as big a deal. Oh, we're getting effed up. I'm going to switch to strength for the moment. And then we're going to tag back to get some shields and healing. And then we're going to almost die. Die very quickly. Especially if you get immobilized. Being immobilized is like the worst. The greedy um, switch to Yang's dance. Break the egg. Spire guys. Incredibly strong. All right. We lived and we healed a bit from it, so it's not so bad. We can teleport back to start anytime we want. How long does the shield last? Okay, we do not want to pop this. This is like a boss arena type thing, a mini boss arena. That might be the full boss. I don't know. There's like mini nightmares. There's like some Cthulhu shit going on with this, like the story and what. I don't think you're playing this game for the story. Oh no, I should not have done that. Okay, let's get back into a defensive stance here. For the record, I am by no means playing this optimally. This is like my first time. I think my second time actually turning, like trying on the character, trying on the character, trying out the character. I think I'm wearing Sun Wukong. Five that. I'm gonna, oh, oh nope. Travel back here. Go to the shop and reduce ultimate cooldown by 20. We can also upgrade all of our, like any of our talents that we want to. Gain strength, upgrade to gain a copy of a random magical. Well, none of these things are really. Mermaid's tears, I guess, are pretty good. Ah. 
extra healing provided. And then I guess Nightmare Tumor Master. Okay, so this is the main boss right here. And that's a uh, like a mini boss, which we would get good rewards for, but for beating. However, um, let's just say I'm not confident. <laughs> for lack of a better excuse. Thunder Punk is very cool though. I wonder what we have to do to unlock uh, the Camilla, the Bride of Dracula, I believe. Not that chest. Okay, maybe it's down this way. Oh, so you're not fast, just everybody else. That's cool. That's cool, Wukong. Just just shit on everybody. Gonna keep need to keep dance dancing. That's important. Double damage on Actually, having double damage to break these things faster is kind of insane. Because you can end up spending a lot of time you know, just trying to break. Trying to like mine dream shards. Oh boy. Oh boy. A lot of damage. We'd be crushing. Oh, that was funny. I so that time I I've been right clicking three times to get it. That time I just I left clicked for the last. Oh, that hurt. Taking double damage. to armor give me good loot he awakens in a day when not in combat passively heal two percent max health every two seconds i will absolutely take that it also helps us to complete our quest that said i am just going to run back over here and get max health shrine or run into a wall Let's travel here. Like I said, I want to get to level five. I don't even know if we get an. I don't even know if we get an ultimate as a level one character. You might have to unlock it, so we'll see. But certainly after this run, we'll definitely have leveled up Wukong here. So that's nice. This game does play on the Steam Deck. I tested that before I started this video. Um. Controls take a little getting used to, but it does play just fine on controller. Some of the text is a little small, but there was no lag for me or anything, so high marks on that front. Also, if you're enjoying this video and want to, you know, be informed about updates to roguelikes and see new ones and whatnot, don't forget to uh, hit subscribe and comment, do all that YouTube stuff, as it really helps me out. We just passed 9k. I'm really appreciative of everyone. And I just want to throw in that little YouTube shill in there. Anyways, now we get another talent. We can either get the airbender power can strike one more time, which is nice at common rarity. You can upgrade the rarities or sprint, which is already epic. We get 14% movement speed and dash can be held for up to three seconds. Just sprint at high. OK, we have to try this. We'll try that in a in a moment. All right, so this is a timed fight, so I'm going to bust out the other. The other damage mode here. And try not to die. Pairing going crazy. 
we'll switch back to this mode get some free shields I messed up the parry now we'll switch back to damage mode yeah stance stance character is kind of sick oh and we crushed it also previously I don't think it had the timer at the top of the screen that's a nice change and we get I think this is six global damage I think that's better than the other plus we got like XP for doing that so it's a win-win I'm not really interested in doing the quest. I don't know if this is faster than one. Actually, since I can sprint. Oh, we can sprint. Look at us go. Oh, it's limited. I thought it was forever. Oh, we could check out the whole map. That's actually like super. Also, that means he's really good for pulling enemies because, again, this is a game that's kind of like about farming early. So you're strong for later and that you play with multiple people, right? So maybe Sung Wukong is the puller. I'm sure some people who have played this game more would know better, but that seems like a really useful ability. Oh, another chest. Nice. You do have to defeat the the guardians of the chest to do it. You can't just like sneak in and get stuff open. I was thinking, hmm, maybe my defensive thing should be an R, but I'm betting my ult is on R. Oh, I did not successfully parry that. Get stunned, idiot. Nice. We have very limited time here. All right, I'll take another Ace of Spades. More damage. I don't like these tree people. They, uh... <laughs> they summon vines from behind you. Kind of annoying. Wukong's basic is just very strong. Oh no! Oh no! Parry, 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 parry. Could've gone worse. I was saying. <laughs> okay. What's the... I don't have a key. I think I need a key for this. There are keys in the game. Get smacked. All right, we've got 50 seconds till he shows up. I'm gonna go ahead and take this extra max HP while we're here. Their tumor. We're gonna be not level five for sure. Though I am trying. Sixteen seconds, yeah. We should just try and break this. As a, our money will carry over. I believe. I think our money will carry over. I hope. Anyway, it's boss time. I did remember fighting this guy quite a lot because there wasn't anything before. I'll just let it rock. Since it has probably been a while. And for those of you that have never seen it. So, very much like a raid boss. We are um, destroying four tentacles to make the boss vulnerable. And then we will have a damage phase on the boss. The extra movement speed goes crazy here.
Ow. The game does not joke around about doing damage to you. Okay, we put him in a injured state. Now we go crazy as best we can. Without an ult, all I can do is turn on damage mode. I think I can actually get him in two cycles. Also, we could parry these tentacles. If I don't goof it up, which I just did, so... That's a thing. Ah, oh, it was early. Super premature, if you will. Get out of there. Let's go back to this guy. Turn on the damage for a second. Lock those. And put the damage down. I don't think we could have killed. Well, actually, we might because we can still do damage to him when he's in regular form. Oh, look at that. A two cycle without an ultimate. That's crazy. All right. So end of chapter, you can save and quit or you can keep going. We will continue to the Storm Island chapter two. Locks restrict access to special events or challenges and need a key to be opened. Understandable. We've reached chapter two. We got an achievement. We leveled up. We got our ultimate. Summon six clones in the area which will fight nearby enemies and attract their attention. Welcome. We have the shop here. Golden egg. Gain one damage per 150 dream shards spent during the game. Does this count as a new game? Uh, it does count for our quest, though. Upgrade a lower quality talent to legendary. That's, I'll take this. All right, so I have much less experience with these enemies here, so expect some bad things to happen. Oh, I was already in damage dance. Guess that makes sense. Yeah, previously when I played the game, it ended after the first boss, so you didn't really get a chance to evolve your character like you would. But now you can go higher levels. You get more stuff. It's very cool. Very cool. I'm a fan. This game's actually pretty great. Hopefully the online works really well. I've not played with anybody, so I don't know what the current state of it is. I hope it's great. If it is, this is a like highly highly auto buy for me it's it's 20 bucks right now on steam if you're in especially if you're into co-op roguelikes there's not anything really it uh let's summon some monkeys there these monkeys are going crazy it's the zoo ultimate Oh, oh, why does he do so much damage? I mean, I guess we were taking double, but why does he do so much damage? Uh, let's go heal. There's a heal right over here. Please. I mean, I guess the game gave us a heal. And this is on the easiest of four difficulties, for the record, so. But again, a lot of this, I think, is mastering your character. A lot of where the difficulty comes in. What is this? A wishing well. I don't have the shards for a wishing well. Ultimates have pretty short cooldowns from my experience as well, so... It seems like you're very incentivized to them for all the non like traveling fights. Uh, that guy is shooting fire at me. Uh, 
I think the map is shared in multiplayer too. If I recall correctly when I was like stuff about it. Pretty cool. All right. Um, time to fight. We're going to stay in this mode. I'm just going to pop this now. Oh, no, that's a lot of stuff. I'm going to switch back to defensive mode. Second, I did, I did not. I was in the middle of another action and it did not, not cancel. I'm going to switch back to damage mode and go crazy to try and beat this timer and maybe die. No die. He survived. Fantastic. Critical is still more damage, more chance for critical hits, 16 vitality. I think 16 vitality. That gave us like 30 HP. Not bad. We do heal passively outside of combat. That's pretty good. Oh, I hear a cat. One second. I'm pausing it. False alarm. Kitty is good. Everything is fine. I think um, the storm here, Hurricane Helena, Helen, Helena, I, I forget. Something with a hell in it. Um, you know, the, the cats go a little wild during. It's not hitting me directly, but it is pretty close. So we're getting the outside band. So I'm fine, but I might lose power, or whatnot, which is not a big deal as a as a Florida resident. Um, I'm getting dumpstered right now. Are crabs my greatest op in this game? I'm just gonna ult actually. The 90 second cooldown. Yeah, just do it. Go team monkey. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. All right. When special uh, when the special effect expires, that's our mantra. Activate all this activated effects of the current stance are restarted. Special deals 25% damage power constraint one more time. I, I think we just take this for the extra damage. That's a crazy effect. I did, <laughs> I did parry that flamethrower for one tick. Kind of funny. So there's a book here and a, and a chest. I want to go to the chest first. We'll come back to the book once our um, clones have come back. I should probably stop like not targeting the enemy that I. Oh my gosh, my XP. I should probably like keep on the target that I've staggered. That guy doing? Yeah, just bonus extra strength. I don't know how much damage strength actually gives you. I know it's a stat. I don't really know where to see it. Um, does timer pause in this? It does. Increases all damage dealt. Yeah, but strength isn't one of these stats, so I don't know how to L. I was hoping that would be the type of thing that would be added, and, like let us know, but I I'm sure I'm sure there's a way to know it. I'm just not sure. Like you guys can let me know in the comments what. Oh, this is not this. This looks bad. And it was. I was gonna, you know, I was gonna save uh, the alt for the book, but I don't think I'm allowed to do that. This guy is a menace. These guys. Oh, there's two of them. That's why. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to parry him, but. Oh, we broke them both? Yeah, let's just switch to this. Kill them. The power of Sun Wukong. Unicorn Horn at critical health gain four region. Power deals 20% more damage. I already have one of them. Take another one. We have five out of seven. 
for our quest. I don't know why I'm killing these. I mean, I do get XP for it, but I should really just be focusing on that give me stuff. Start heading towards the book. But then, like, not pop it until... Oh, it's a big bird. Like a pharaoh. He dropped a, bro a boulder on my head. What is this? Oh, oh, okay. Pharaoh's... Pharaoh's fucking me up. <laughs> Am I on fire? It's happening. I think I was. Alright, so how long do I want to stand still to gain buffs here? Since while I'm out of combat, I am healing. Where did the villains go? I'm ready to do it. Alright, let's just let's just pop it. And we're going to do the oh the birds out to get their revenge. Swap stances. Big, big time parries there. Basil Goose bird over here. I'm so excited for Monster Hunter Wilds. So excited. Was watching the Stone Sony State of Play. Might. This is always gonna be a roguelike channel, but. I might be a Monster Hunter streamer when that comes out. Uh, I would like to switch stances, please. Fuck, I did, I forgot about the timer. Um, well. Run away from the ground. Oh, a heal? How nice. Fortunately. I actually need to clear the area first. I have not used a revive yet, which is really surprising to be honest. I'm gonna... Let's just run. I have eight minutes. I... <laughs> no reason to blow that. Alright. Oh, I thought he was gonna hit. These guys are dangerous, like dagger, dagger guys, put out a lot of damage. All right, maybe up here. Can I ult? Guys are strong. my block bad no Let's die okay nice we leveled up and we heal from leveling up Mantra of Balance, when special is triggered, it applies negative status effects. Okay, this is kind of the same as before. Power can strike one more time. We're definitely going to take that. We have 200... I think what we're going to do... Is... I'm going to teleport here. And I'm going to go hit this... This thing over here. Big ol... Big ol' crystal. There's a lot of enemies. <laughs> the Buddhist palm going crazy. Getting an extra strike on that. If I could get that upgraded to legendary is my thought. That would be massive. All right. Blow this thing up. Let's portal back here. We have 312 dollar dues. 
So, go here. Upgrade a lower quality talent to legendary. Which, we have a rare, an epic, and the rest are common, so it would be huge whatever we got. Alternatively, um, do we have any epic stuff? I don't think we do. I don't think we can check. It just says rare. Yeah, it's just rare. Okay, um, give me airbender legendary. Thirst for immortality legendary. Plus two damage, 175 vitality. Okay, I mean, it's not the big damage bo bonus I would want right now, but long term it seems good. I think I do want to spend 70 to upgrade Airbender if I can. Obviously, that also means we want magical items. He's awakening in a day, which is essentially five minutes. Hey, don't don't be like that. Again, not fighting those, not confident. Oh, full heal. 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 And more max HP. Six or more healing fountains in a single run achieved. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna summon the boy right now. Seems worth it based on. Oh, get jumped. Get absolutely jumped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That was good. I guess we're debuffed, Sun Wukong. There is some story you get from leveling up people, so that's nice too. Parry, 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 parry. I guess it's easy to trigger the quest for that one once you get to stage two, because just because of all the flames. I think a lot of damage. I don't love that. We did, however, uh, get a lot of money. So let's go upgrade our stuff. take airbender for sure oh do i get Ooh, do we take airbender too i think we do see you thought this over carefully why did our damage go up i i don't understand that one i'm sure there's a reason for it and i just i'm unaware game mechanics so we have three minutes till the next boss I don't even know what the next boss does. Yo, look at, look at that. I am the avatar. I don't even need my clones for you, bird. I say that he's about to. Oh, I do need multiple targets for it to work, though. Take some more max HP. Run. Grabs. Uh, no, I don't want to fight that guy. Fighter. I'm. I'm also good. I'm like. I don't think that's necessary. Up here. Oh, okay. Big. Big money. Sure. A whole lot of birds, though. Is 
There's a whole awful lot of birds. All right, Sun Wukong, you got this. Um, yeah, yeah, we got this. Everything's good. Get out of the way. Smack him with my big stick. Oh, I didn't want to. <laughs> Get ourselves a big old pile of money. Yeah, I'm good, guys. I don't really care to fight the crabs. One thing I think you don't want to do is spend a ton of time traveling. Like a waste. Probably don't have time to do whatever that quest is. The quest in the first stage takes like five minutes. Or has like a five minute timer or something like that, so. Probably not worth it. Huh. I didn't get any extra dashes there. That's weird. I wonder if it can only hit the same target. No, because it definitely hit other targets multiple times. Obviously, we know if there's only one target, it's only hitting them one. Um, 45 seconds. One. Uh, revive? Nah, I'm good, I think. We're really close to leveling. I should just... Focus on that, really. Like so. Celestial Pillar. Oh, yeah, we're literally running out of talents. Oh my god, adds a crushing blow to the attack combo dealing 385. Get a legendary. Oh, we have a big stomp at the end, so we have a long combo. All right, boss time. What? Let's start in shield. This game's sick. This game's a lot of fun. Big fan. Fan. Then we completed our quest. <laughs> Let's see it. Another horror, I'm sure. Oh, only one target. Awkward. Oh, we got beams. And things to avoid. I shouldn't stay in damage still I know. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just ult. We're taking a lot. And now we've got ads. Oh, good timing. We've got ads with laser beams. Oh, and he's shooting laser beams. Everything's shooting laser beams. Now more, more beams. Okay. Can I parry? I can. Okay. That's good to know. Well, what just happened? That was a graphical clip. Oh, he's... He is stunned after that phase. So there is a damage window there. After his ads, can I just... I can. I guess it shows up here, his shields. Like, he's got two shields up right now. So I probably didn't want to be attacking him there. You can get animation locked. I probably should have talked about that on your attack, so... 
being deliberate is important. I don't want to stay in strength mode here. Because I'm going to send the gang. And just kill him right now is the goal. Boss two down. Monkeys rule the world is Planet of the Apes out here. Uh, let's continue. I'm having a great time to Avalon. To Avalon. Is this the final boss? Reach chapter three. What do you have for me here? Gain a copy of a random epic magic item. Uh, reduce specials cooldown by 25%. Special is... Uh, right? Waste of my time. Seems pretty good. Oh, this is like a different type of map. Healing Fountain. Chest. Side quest. Altar of Heroes. Okay. We'll come back. Again, I have not been here before, so I have no idea. No idea what is waiting for me. As far as enemy abilities. That potion, they drop trap potions. That's hilarious. Ow. All right, let's go up. Just take us up to, I guess. Are we in a, we're inside now. Oh, okay. Fire bad. Monkey no light fire. Now oh, it takes us up here. That makes sense. King Wukong here feels awfully powerful. I'm just throwing it out. Oh, were they? Are they singing? What happened. Why did me using my trait turn <laughs> activate all the gargoyles? Can we get a gargoyles reboot? Like. We got X-Men 97. I think Gargoyles reboot would go crazy. Also, my HP. Oh, these guys look big and scary. I was right. I was very much correct. Uh, one of them's a straight up a summoner. They've got a whole party. Can we get rid of the summoner guy? He is a pro. Oh, God. He is a problem. I got weakened. Can't be good. I uh, healed from something. Not really sure what. Oh, that guy dropped a healing. I break. The other guy dropped a heal. Oh, no, we got deaded. OK. So we have like six revives. <laughs> I hate that our first one was on like just random stuff that we actually already ulted on, but that took over half my HP. All right, they don't be messing around here. Holy moly. Dash cooldown reduced. Power damage up. Yes. This is magical. Better be my hands. I need another. I need one more magical light. Ah! 
gonna pop my ult. I don't know what's going on. The enemies are scary here. How many levels am I gonna get for this too? I feel like I've earned a bit. Oh no, we're trapped. Oh no! I wasn't even in strength form, I don't think. Got. Oh, maybe I. Hmm. No, I, I. I. Okay, I was in strength. Okay, well, maybe that's why. Bro, what? Okay. The difficulty has escalated a bit. Jeez. Okay. When special active attack makes bead ring beads ring, dealing 30 attack damage all around. Yep, that seems like something I'm interested in. We have 250. Let's go back to the shop. My gosh. Reduce special cooldown by 25%. Yeah, that's the one I want. We also completed our quest just now, which gave us a huge amount of HP. So let's go. Hey, let's go to that quest, but. Oh, it does make the bells ring, huh? All right, what's the quest? What is it? Oh, does it take a key? Oh, this isn't the quest. What am I looking at? This quest is over here. Damn, wolves are scary. All right, gargoyle. Okay, how many? Wh what is this Souls game combo you just hit me with? You did not drop an equivalent amount of. There's a book over there. There's some type of quest down here. I guess we should go just to see what it is. For science purposes. Help Morgan by killing all the knights. Oh, knights, my favorite. Oh no, we died. I don't even know if we're gonna see the next boss. We're taking so much damage here. Also, I think our guys are gone because of it. Rough. Oh, I, oh, if you don't time your parries right, you just die. Oh, gosh. And that guy's healing. Also, maybe I was in strength form. Damage. Trying to parry everything. Not working. I don't want to be in strength form. I'm too scared. He's dead. OK, did we did we finish the quest? Um, I shall meet you there. Okay, but what if what if I just went to the healing shrine instead? <laughs> I appreciate everything you're saying. But like I don't think that was worth it. 
I don't think that was worth like three revives. Obviously, I could have played it better and just like not died, right? But. Yikes. Okay, well. How far we get? Oh, nice. Good damage there. Yeah, so much for having all this max HP. Side quest over here, huh? All right. <laughs> all right. I will run towards the other one. Oh, I guess we could pay to get a feather here. Get a revive. I don't really want to be doing that, but I think good now. Given, given the events of moments ago. Pairing everything. <laughs> don't have a choice. Oh, that's because there's a knight active. Oh, and, a, and an assassin. Oh, I, I wasted. Parry, I, I don't know. I just parried like seven things. I have a feeling the parry talent is better than the one I took at the start. The parry quest. Based on what's happening on this act here. Level 10, ultimate summons three additional clones. Acceptable. Select the final talent during a game. Guess it doesn't get any better. I do not have enough money for that. Not enough money. Do I even want to? The abomination that animates the corpse of my Hmm. Are we in a Melania situation here? Oh no. Isn't that the guy from the DLC? From Erdtree? Are you kidding me? Crap me. You know what? Time for some some monkey madness. Arthur the Fallen King. Cool. Very cool. Um, very Death Knight vibes, and that is my main in WoW, so... You know. I like that. Can't help but feel like this is not good for my chances of actually winning the run. Defeat him before he destroys the tree. Um... Oh. I didn't even know these guys were over here doing that. I think we're going to fail this quest. What are you doing, bro? Oh, well, we're definitely failing this quest. If we even survive it. One thing I appreciate this is game doesn't have contact damage. I'm stuck in hell. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That tracks. The tree's down. Wait, do I still have to fight? The tree is down, but I still have to uh, go here. Monkeys, assist me.
I just switched stances. This is crazy difficult. Ow. Parry, 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 parry. Oh, now parry's down. Well, I definitely missed on both those berries. Oh, he stuck me in a wall. I, well, that's it, boys. <laughs> that's it. The Monkey King did not survive. However, it is the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. Level reached 10.09. Base score, Grimoire, playtime 53. It does look like that's the end. There's just one more boss. That's the end. What do we get for rewards? We unlocked Carmilla. And we got two levels for Sung Wukong, which unlocked Thundercloud. Enemies hit by power are soon afterwards struck by lightning. Awesome. Switching stances increase the power of the new stance. Nice. Shield and strength effects triggered upon trade activation last longer. One inch punch attack triggered after successful defense launches a powerful punch. That's super cool. Heaven's equal a oh, new story. Um, hard reward signature outfit complete the thirst for of immortality talent quest. But oh, we got a whole story here. The story of the fall of Sun Wukong. I, I'm gonna skip this because you can go, you can check this out anytime you want. But if we look here now, I can probably go to. Heroes, go to Sung Wukong and yeah, a different colored outfit, which is very nice. We unlocked all these talents. Very, very cool. Let's look at Carmilla here. Badass looking vampire chick. Carmilla uses blood to fuel her abilities, our health when there's none left. Enter winged form, draining blood. Day, every one second, restore two health to nearby heroes. At night, get 30% crit chance. She has a chain attack series that builds blood. She's a builder spender character. Sends blood orb uh, flying. Death kiss. Launch yourself a target location, turns intangible and bites and earns blood. Bat swarm. Transforms into intangible bat swarm Healing damage to me is passing through as bleed. Holding the action consumes blood to keep the form active for up to three seconds. And impalement. Carmilla seems super cool. I may do one more video just trying out Carmilla or more if I end up finding a group to play with. But anyways, this is Raven's Watch. Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Um, this is Raven's Watch. It's $20. 1.0 is out now. Seems significantly better early on than it used to be. Again, that was with a raw level one monkey king going into that that I hadn't really played before. So I had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Jeff out later.